greetings from Indonesia. Today the wind is a bit calmer so I decided to fly my drone. Let's go! So today my topic is all about the responsibilities of an onboard ETO. A little background about me, I'm a Filipino, I'm an electrical engineer, and an electrician on board. Last year I took up an ETO updating course, and one of the teachers at the training center told us about the responsibilities of an ETO. So this is not my original idea, but anyways, let's start. Point number one. Point number one is pretty basic, so let's skip to number two. Go back. Oh well. So number one is maintaining safety. Safety not limited only to human lives, but to electrical machinery as well. Most marine electricians are safety officers on board. Number two, repair and restore. ETOs must be able to repair or restore electrical machineries back to working condition. Number 3. Troubleshooting To troubleshoot, one must be able to read diagrams and knowledge on electrical devices function and operation they are working on. Number 4. Performing maintenance. Machineries on board are exposed to harsh conditions. Performing maintenance can prevent trouble and lengthen the life of a machine. Number 5. Test. ETOs must be able to test functions of the electrical machineries on board. Number 6. Monitoring. By doing monitoring, ETOs can easily identify if something is working abnormally. Number 7. Operate. Though machineries have designated engineers assigned to it, ETOs are expected that they can operate it by themselves. So that's it guys. Those are the responsibilities of an ETO on board. I hope to see you again in my next videos. Bye bye.